Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm so excited to be here with Altenew and this is the Build a Flower release for July and it's called Coral Charm and yet another beautiful Altenew flower. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I didn't want to colour this flower and I just had this vision in my head like um, I thought that this style of card would make a really good uh, either invitation so something that you could easily mass produce or um, like an elegant sort of wedding style card which is what I kind of went for in the end so I just wanted to use kind of a black and white style card and not add color which is what I usually do with the flowers and I've stamped out the flower masked it with uh, some mask paper and then I can stamp leaves on either side and that way when I remove the mask whatever you want at the front is what you stamp first and cover up because when I remove the mask it's going to look like that's in the foreground. Now I could have probably cut this panel down first to the size of the card front but I was thinking it might have been easier to cut it down afterwards which is what I went with. <laughs> So what I did was simply line the whole panel of cardstock that I've been stamping on on top of my card base and then just eyeballed it. I wanted it to have a small border around the whole edge and I just holding the flower center. It just meant that I didn't have to center the flower initially on my panel. If I had to cut it down first, I would have been a bit restricted. But you might be better at eyeballing things straight <laughs> I don't know I just didn't want to take a chance so I've got a guide wire in this style of trimmer has a guide wire and I can just see where I'm cutting to and I'm cutting a little bit shy of the leaves on either side of the panel because what I decided to do was just to add a little bit of an element to this card because it is very 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 clean and simple um, I just thought it'd be nice to fussy cut the leaves out there are matching dies with this stamp set so the flower and the leaves have a matching die and every build flower set comes with a matching die and they can't be bought separately but to be honest they are so handy to have that um, when I actually go for a set of stamps and especially some of the intricate flowers I kind of kick myself when I haven't bought the matching die sometimes because they do come in handy and you don't mind doing multiples of something if you've got a die. It just takes the um, guesswork out of everything and the hard work out of everything. Now I did decide to add one of the layers of stamping with the limestone ink and then I'm covering the whole card front. So this is a top fold card with some jet black card stock just use my tape runner to do that and then I've popped up this whole panel um, with some scraps of fun foam and using some score tape. Don't you hate <laughs> trying to separate? Sometimes score tape is really easy to separate from the release paper. Other times I could sit there for hours picking at it and pulling it away and then putting it back down and anyway. I eventually got there. My sentiment is from the this set's called the Sketchy Landmarks and has some really nice sentiments within it and it has this one that I'm going to emboss. It says to the perfect couple. I thought this would make a really kind of elegant style wedding card. And I'm heat embossing that with the pure white embossing powder. Really nice bright white embossing powder. I love it. I'm using it all the time at the moment. I've got some glossy accents just adding some small dots of adhesive to the black centers of the flowers and then I've got some really fine black glitter and I just thought this would add you know just a little something because it is a very clean and simple card I did want a couple of nice elements on there and if I did want to mass produce it this would be easy as well like I think it would make a really nice invitation and that's pretty much my card for today. Head over to the Alta New blog and I've got links all through the description below and see what else has been made with this beautiful flower. I know you're going to be impressed. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.